This conference so, will now be recorded. So uh, that I'm going to ask some questions. Okay. Huh? So that I can also uh, clear that uh, how much you will get. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever the we gone through our last uh, two session. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and. Uh, and it, and today uh, that I will uh, means give you some pictorial presentation on that, and mm -hmm. that is very clear and crystal, so that mm -hmm. you can refer all the things in a pictorial manner, okay, so mm -hmm. that you can correlate very relevant way, okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that I'm uh, going to uh, share one PPT. Uh, okay. So can you tell me that uh, how many types that data is uh, come in big data? How many times? Means that variety of data. Uh, three. Yeah. Which one? Uh, is variety of data uh, structured, unstructured, semi structured? Yeah, 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 that's great. And uh, that uh, means, means how we are handling this uh, uh, different kinds of data with oh. uh, which tool? Uh, tool. Yeah, which tool we are using for handling and processing this uh, data? Uh, uh, HDF, uh, yeah, yeah, HDFS tool we are handling for uh, storing the data and MapReduce for uh, processing the data. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Yeah, this MapReduce is using for processing, processing the, the data. data. And, uh, and uh, till now, how many uh, versions? Released uh, by two, uh, two versions. In the second version, so we use Yarn also. That is for uh, uh, managing the uh, for management, uh, managing the yeah. files or something. Storage. Yeah, managing the cluster. Clusters. Okay. Yes. So in the uh, 1.4, uh, both will do in the uh, map only. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, correct. So. Uh, that uh, okay. That uh, I think uh, you have cleared that things. Whatever we yes. uh, discussed in earlier classes. Okay. So uh, I am going by by pictorial. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever PPT prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so uh, uh, my motto is that uh, that. Uh, after this session, uh, you didn't do some other uh, reference link for reading the whole things. Mm -hmm. You can uh, get to know all 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 uh, requirement things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Through this session, when this session will finish, you can get to know all all the things regarding big data. Okay. Okay. And maybe depth and very clear manner okay, okay. so so that i'm going to uh, uh means uh, explain okay mm -hmm. uh that uh, how from where the data came okay and uh, okay. how uh, that uh duck cutting is given given a first time that terminology mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. that we will go through. Okay, like uh, what is big data? Okay, mm -hmm. so that uh, big data is like means huge amount. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that data is in a megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, and petabyte. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and uh, that uh, 
amount where we are unable to store that that data okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as per as per as per this question that definition which is given by ibm mm -hmm. okay so that they mention that big data is high volume okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. high velocity and or high variety information asset that demand cost effective mm -hmm. innovative form for information processing that enable enhance insight decision making and process automation okay so they said that data data have three v's volume velocity and variety variety right yes and, and uh, these three things mm -hmm. when we are unable to manage with existing system mm -hmm. okay so what what challenge challenge uh, came that mm -hmm. how we can manage in a cost effective manner mm -hmm. okay. okay that that uh, we should focus to manage the whole data in a effective mm -hmm. cost okay okay yeah in a effective cost that we can manage so first time these things uh, uh, that realize these uh, these sites these sites are there like pizza hut okay mm -hmm. and this uh, that internet things iot things mm -hmm. they have realized because that uh, time data has emerging okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they are unable to managing that uh, requirement so first time they have uh, realized that big data things like uh, any uh, uh, we can say that anything is there mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so first time first time uh, that google has realized that uh, uh, there is data is going to use okay and mm -hmm. uh, that data is uh, working like a oil oil or the data is like a oil for each company mm -hmm. okay because mm -hmm. nowadays each company has a stand on data Uh -huh. like uh, if we are taking the example of the amazon uh-huh okay so that amazon is tracking user behavior that how much time what product you are seeing okay uh -huh. okay such type such type of for uh, that uh, behavior they are tracking okay uh -huh. so what is this this is the data uh which is giving a pattern that which type product you you are looking mm -hmm. that they can refer you similar kind of product mm -hmm. okay okay so yeah so uh, uh that uh, some person is uh, saying that uh, data is like a oil for each company mm -hmm. okay so that will go that later okay uh -huh. so that google google is the first company which is realize big data problem in 2003 okay okay and uh, that person which is first time given this statement is a duck cutting mm, duck cutting duck yes. cutting Yeah, Duckerting is a founder of the Hadoop. Yes. Okay. So he's released some paper. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, they is giving some solution. In uh, 2004, plus map reduce. Mm -hmm. In 2003, he is given some solution, but uh, that that solution is not enough. So, 2004, he has uh, added one more thing, map reduce. Okay, and okay. again he is given in 2004, and after that, he left the Google. Mm -hmm. Okay, in 2000. Five, he joined Yahoo, mm -hmm. and in Yahoo, mm -hmm. Yahoo is given a dedicated uh, team for working on Hadoop project. Okay. Okay. So first time they have given a name this project Hadoop in okay. Yahoo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and after that, uh, uh, some enhancement, they have uh, finally launched their first release in 2011. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is the history behind this. Okay, okay. so okay. There, are, there are a lot of tool which is supporting Hadoop ecosystem. Okay. 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 Uh, like uh, your Avro, Edgebase, mm -hmm. Uzi, okay. or Pestris SQL, mm -hmm. Cassandra, MangoDB, okay. and uh, Genplum database. Green Plum, sorry, Green Plum database. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Hadoop, I, Pig, Flume, Spook, and the Spark. So okay. these are the buzz around us. Okay, mm -hmm. and we are uh, uh, that uh, have a puzzle mm -hmm. that which we should have to learn and which uh, which tool uh, we don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that, that I will clear, clear all the tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, to we should have to learn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Hadoop 1.0. Mm -hmm. If we are talking about. Okay. Okay. And this is introduced in 2011. Okay, so they have given two things. Okay. In uh, in their first release, one is distributed file system HDFS. HDFS distributed okay. program. Okay. Distributed programming framework MapReduce. Okay. In the first release. Mm -hmm. In the first release. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have given two things. One is Distributed file system HDFS and second is MapReduce. And 2012, in their Hadoop 2.0, they came into three things distributed file system HDFS, MapReduce. And one more thing, they have added yarn. Okay. Okay. What is the what is the full thing of that? Sorry. What is the full form? Yarn. Yarn, and uh, yet another resource. Uh, negotiator. Negotiator. Yet another resource negotiation. Yes. Yeah, negotiator. Okay. Hmm. So in Hadoop core, we have three things. Mm -hmm. uh, if we are talking about into 2.0 version, okay. So we have three things: mm -hmm. SDFS, Produce, and Yarn. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if we are talking.
talking about Hadoop ecosystem. So ecosystem doesn't have any specific definition for that. Okay. Okay. Because we are uh, using number of components, whatever the current requirement of the organization. Mm -hmm. It depend on the organization requirement. Clear? So that if you will, uh, if you will see that Hadoop ecosystem, we are using Hive, Pig, HBase, Spark, Scoop, Flume, Kafka, Uzi. Okay. So a lot of tool is, tool, tools is there. Okay. And uh, these tools are using as per the organization requirement. Okay. 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 So that will go uh, one by one. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. I prepared this uh, PPT oh. for making very clear this requirement means this uh, technology. If someone mm -hmm. is uh, is uh, going in this technology, so that's why. So that SDFS is, is stand on. Mm -hmm. H to do the distributed system. Okay, so uh, it will go in some deeper. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, that will go one by one, okay, into okay. that, right? So, okay. if we are talking about HDFS, mm -hmm. so HDFS is a distributed file system. Yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, we are using Linux machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, we uh, we are using by default uh, means uh, Adobe support Linux machine, Linux mm -hmm. operating system. Okay. Okay. If you will see, this is the icon of the Linux. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, Hadoop is a file system. So if we are creating any file in the uh, Hadoop system, okay, let's suppose in operating system, we have installed, so it will create uh, any directory. Okay, so such type, uh, it will uh, looks like uh, this is the directory, okay? Mm -hmm. Because this is a, this is Hadoop system and this is a uh, file system so it will create a directory then directory look like this 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 mm -hmm. okay and okay. it will write it will write mm -hmm. means let's suppose it will import any file mm -hmm. directory contain files okay okay so if you see this is a directory and this directory contains two files and this is this is contain one files okay so inside framework, Hadoop framework, we are creating directory and after that we are loading the data. Okay. Files. What is a file? Files is our data because files yeah. containing some 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 uh, information. Mm -hmm. yes. Clear? Clear. Any any confusion? No. Okay. So we'll go some slight further so sdfs is also sdfs is also file system every mm -hmm. operating system is coming with file system but hadoop is different mm -hmm. okay so what is that means let's suppose uh, you have a system right yes and uh, what is the OS in your system? Windows. Windows, yeah. So 
windows uh, this line is saying that each operating system have default uh, file system mm -hmm. if you will create a uh, is a directory in your uh, system that directory will create okay okay but, but hadoop is different that this is a different okay mm -hmm. Okay. How it is different? How it is different? We'll see further. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is a client. What is a client? Client. Yeah. Client. Uh, uh, final. I mean. Client. This final destination. No, not a destination. <laughs> client, client is a person. Machine. Okay, in this way, yes. Yeah. Client yeah. is a user. Yeah, yes, user. Client, client is we are. Mm -hmm. Who will give the request to operating system, and operate operating system will do some processing behind. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And after that, we'll give the result to client, us, or user. Okay. Got it. Got it. If you will, if you will write any uh, query. Okay. Okay. LTFS will take your query and uh, search in these files and give the result back. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Any doubt? No. Okay. So, okay. So that HTFS features will go. HTFS features. Okay. How many features is there? So First is a distributed. Second is scalable. Mm -hmm. Third is cost effective. Mm -hmm. Fourth is fault tolerant. Mm -hmm. And uh, fifth is high throughput. You can see my screen, right? Yes. Clear. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we'll see first one. Mm -hmm. What is a mean of means of uh, distributed? Any idea about? No. Distributed. What is a distributed? Distributed is a uh, dividing. Uh, uh, right. Yes. We can say dividing, or we can say distribute any specific task to different different machine. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll go first point. Mm -hmm. So if you will see adding adding storage is in mm -hmm. one system. Called vertical scaling. Let's suppose you have one system, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and your hard disk capacity is two GB, okay, mm -hmm. and you have stored five movie, and your hard disk is four, mm -hmm. okay. That is storage is occupied by movies okay so what you will do, what you will do if you let's suppose if you want to store some more movie but your hard disk is full then mm -hmm. what you will do uh this is full oh. 
Sorry, I didn't get to you. Sorry? Uh, we can, uh, we can uh, add another, uh, we can extend the hard disk. Right, right, right. Correct. That's, I'm expecting this answer. Okay. So that uh, we will add external hard disk. Okay. One, two, three. But mm -hmm. system is system is one. One. Right. So mm -hmm. such type of such type of process. Mm -hmm. Such type of process is saying mm -hmm. this vertical scaling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So this type of process mm -hmm. we are calling vertical scaling. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go in a distributed manner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So adding different machine called horizontal scaling. Let's suppose. Okay. You want to store some more movies, but not in a single system. Okay. You want to store extra your movies into some different machine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Adding different machine is called horizontal scaling. Scaling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scaling is possible in a framework. Yes. Horizontal so, scaling is possible only in a framework. Remember. Okay. So, network based. Distributed file system which combine all machine in a single unit. This is a definition. This is the exact definition of distributed. Okay. Yeah. Network based file system or distributed file system mm -hmm. which Mm -hmm. So let's suppose we have added 50 machines, 50 machines. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's suppose, okay. uh, yeah. Let's suppose I have one organization and my data is required 50 machines mm -hmm. in storing the data. Okay. And okay. I'm handling with, with the, all the things through HDFS framework, Hadoop framework. So is telling, uh, this is this telling that uh, that collect all machines. Okay. Collect, combine all machine in a single unit. Right. It's collect the all machines and act like a single unit. Okay. Chandish? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Got it. This is a very uh, simple way. I'm going to explain all the things. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, let's suppose we are storing our requirement in separate, separate machines. Okay. So, such type of uh, uh, process is only possible in the Hadoop framework, okay? Okay. Yeah, so that will go. So, so we'll come in second, uh, that uh, feature, cost effectiveness, okay? It's cost effective, not required any expensive machine, using commodity hardware like our common machine. Uh -huh. So for 
we we are adding uh, means uh, number of machines okay mm -hmm. these are the machines so these are not uh, any uh, means uh, high configured machine okay 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 these are the all our uh, means we can say common system mm -hmm. okay so this okay. is a very cost effective okay okay we can add we can add our uh, normal system so that's why the second point came uh, mm -hmm. in uh, that hadu feature that cost effective so mm -hmm. that it is a uh, support it support cost effectiveness mm -hmm. okay okay and uh, third is fault tolerant okay See? So let's suppose we have added these machines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And we have rack one, two, three. Mm -hmm. We have a rack three rack, and this is a two rack. Okay. And okay. here, uh, let's suppose we are. Okay. Okay. Let's here you go. So what is a fault tolerant? Any idea? Mm, no, some fault or something. Okay. Some so, okay. Yeah, I'm going to explain. You can okay. uh, pay attention. Mm -hmm. So let's suppose we have a cluster. Mm -hmm. Okay, and our process is running uh, this much machines. So. In general way, that machine may be crashed, okay? Right? Hello, Chindu. Yes, yes, I'm here. Yeah. No, there is disturbance, so that's why I'm muted. Okay, okay, yeah. So let's suppose this machine's uh, crashed or or let's suppose this uh, rack is down. Let's suppose mm -hmm. electricity gone. Mm -hmm. Let's suppose we um, have a network issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, such type of situation, such type of situation mm -hmm. is called fault tolerant. Okay. Okay. Like some computer crash, network fail, switch fail. So, so this type of situation mm -hmm. in HTML framework will handle. Okay. Okay. Without knowing user. Okay. Let's suppose this system will crash, but this user is not aware. But our our uh, system will handle. Mm -hmm. Our HTML 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 frame, framework will handle. Mm -hmm. Without knowing user. Okay. 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 Yeah. So this situation will handle automatically by Okay. Performance measurement. Yeah. Okay. In we have Okay. Sorry, I can't able to hear you. Yeah, actually some noise is coming behind you. Yes, yes, uh, sorry. From here, where you are connecting right now? Home. Actually, Saturday and Sunday, everybody is home. So that's why 
they usually do some disturbance uh, the cooking and something so that's why i'm saying weekends is uh, some disturbance I, we, i can't say them no they are cooking so actually i can mute it here i can reply it from uh, may i mean text required not required in that okay okay we'll continue so okay uh, yeah so i throw food uh, what is the food so that uh, we are measuring the performance okay so that that uh, we have two things in a performance measurement one is latency and second is throughput so that what is latency that latency is time to get first record minimize lower is better okay and the throughput number of record processed per unit time okay so that uh, this framework is uh, means a uh, focusing in a high throughput manner okay so we'll move further so let's suppose this is our framework this is our whole framework hadoop architecture this is a architecture okay and uh, here is a client okay and client is uh, means let's suppose requesting something we have uh, such type of architecture hadoop architecture okay here i am going to highlight these things okay this system and if you will see there's some dex type things is there this one this one this one and this one and this one so these are the rack okay these are the rack so what is a rack rack is nothing but like box we fixed multiple computer in one rack which rack have individual power supply and network okay of oh, chandesh yes 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 come here Uh, you got the point of the rack. Yeah, it's a power supply. What is the rack? No, no, no. What is the rack? No, no. It is a yeah. Indi. It's an individual power. No, no. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Right. If you will keep uh, unmute. No. Problem. Okay. We'll discuss. Okay. And uh, try to understand. okay okay this is the architecture okay this is the okay. such type of architecture is running in each organization mm uh-huh. okay these are the our machine this means the computer mm uh-huh. okay okay these are the computer this one this one this one this one okay and the rack is a collection of computers Mhm. Okay. Okay. I think that was stop the collection of machines. Okay. Okay. And that each rack have individual power supply. Mhm. And individual network. But that rack is a collection of system. Mhm. What is my point? Mhm. architecture is designed like this diagram mm mm-hmm. mhm clearly you, are, you can see right my screen mhm mm-hmm. okay so 
ओ नथिंग बट लाइक मल्टीपल कंप्यूटर इन रैक व्हिच रैक हैव इंडिविजुअल पावर सप्लाई इन नेटवर्क ओके सो रैक इज नथिंग इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ कंप्यूटर ओके ओके so we'll go okay yeah, that, okay and uh, this uh, this uh, architecture is uh, designed mm -hmm. in in same way master architecture okay name more and that okay okay yeah in so that will move what is a master machine is called master machine yeah master machine is the name of yeah master machine is a name node slave okay. machine slave machine is a data, data node. node okay so okay. if you will see Name node manage file system. System. Okay. Manage mm -hmm. file system and name space. Mm -hmm. And data node store and manage the data mm -hmm. of the file. Okay. 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 Got it. Got it. Yes. Yes. Your data node is storing your physical data. and managing as well but, but your name name node is not is any kind of your data okay the name node is storing your data data of the your block mm -hmm. location of the uh, block in a data node such type of is storing in name node okay nice yes. yes. okay yeah so if you will see this diagram this one okay uh -huh. so you will get better picture okay you can see yes This is a Hadoop cluster. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And uh, these are these are the rack, and the rack have number of system, and this uh, architecture is designed in a master and slave architecture. Okay. So let's okay. suppose this is a master. This machine is a master machine. Uh huh. Okay. We are calling name node, and rest of these machines. Are called data. Okay. Same here. This is the name node. This is the name node. This is the name node, and the rest of these machines are called data node. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we will go. Let's see. So let's see. How file are stored in HDFS? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in this diagram, if you will uh -huh. see, there are there are three actor in HDFS. One is client. Client. Which is give the request. Okay. One is node which is interact with client okay. name node is name node is interact with client client if if client request anything first request will go into name node remember yes yeah okay and these are the data node these are mm -hmm. the data nodes, data nodes. So, Yeah, there are three actors. One is data node. Uh huh. 
Okay. Okay. These are the three actors in whole architecture. Okay. okay. So that now we will understand how file will store and distribute in this. Okay. Okay. Go. Mm -hmm. and the client is creating one directory okay mm -hmm. so that client is requested to name node creating one directory mm -hmm. it creates a mm -hmm. file and uh, that what is the command my directory uh, yes, i am asking to you that what is the command we are using for creating directory in local level is the idea mm -hmm. direct my directory is the command no 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 this is an example okay okay create directory yeah so let's suppose this uh, client is means is requesting for creating one directory Mm -hmm. okay. okay first request will go into name node mm -hmm. okay and it okay. check it checks some uh, uh, pre pre uh, that requirement mm -hmm. before receiving uh, after receiving the request from client is checking some uh, that you can say some uh, checks Mm -hmm. What checks that this this clients have a access for writing mm -hmm. the file or not? This data this directory is available or not? This type of mm -hmm. pre pre uh, uh, that we can say that pre requisite. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's checking. Okay. Receiving the request from the client. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and after that, after that, let's suppose uh, uh, that client have access right, and there is no uh, mm -hmm. directory available. My file, my file directory is not available. So okay. that it will create, it will create directory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And uh, store the data. It will okay. go in, uh, in FS because name would have two files. Okay. Okay. One is one is edit log and another is FS image. Okay. 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 So that, that name node will check here FS image and after that uh, it will allow user to create a directory. Okay. Yeah. And uh, let's suppose uh, after creating, it will give the confirmation to user. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that it will give the confirmation that uh, directory has been created. Okay. Okay. And uh, let's suppose file uh, size have one twenty. 8 MB. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So first, first name node check the available space. Okay. In data node. In data node mm -hmm. name, name check the availability space availability. Okay. If let's suppose if uh, that space is available in first data node so it will be stored 128 mb data in data node first okay, okay. and uh, let's suppose have uh, that more than 128 mb file okay so it will split that that file into second block okay. we are calling calling we are calling these uh, uh, 
file splitation is a block. Okay, this okay. is a first block, and this is a second block. Okay. So these has stored in one of ML added uh, means uh, attached cluster. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that name node uh, because name node check where space is available and uh, when uh, that uh, name node will get the mm -hmm. space availability information, it will uh, allow to store mm -hmm. that file. Okay. 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 Yeah. This kinds of this process will uh, completed. Okay. So so once you finish writing the file mm -hmm. you, once once you finish the writing the file okay what name node name node name node changes okay okay, okay. and where it is it is commit in FSMS. FSMS. Okay. So we will go summary what we have discussed in this okay. slide. Okay. So okay. Uh, this is a summary. Okay. That we um, do this master slave architecture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Single name node master. Mm -hmm. More data node. Some slaves. Yes. Okay. A name mm -hmm. node manager. Manage, sorry. Manage FS name space. Mm -hmm. All client action is start with name node. Mm -hmm. Data node is store file. Data as blocks. Okay. Blocks. Yes. Data contains heartbeat. This is a important thing. Mm -hmm. Data node contains heartbeat and block report to name node. Name node. So every three second. Okay. Every three second. Okay. Data node is sending hard to name node. Okay. For data node check. Okay. 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 So let's this this data node not send hard beat. Uh, in uh, let's suppose. Every three seconds, it's, it's uh, I means uh, sending, but it's not sending. This name node get to know this. Uh, this has, is some problem. This has some problem. This node have some problem. So yes. this uh, node got crash. So crash this, get, uh, this get to know if uh, if this uh, uh, name is, node is not not receive any. Right. Hard. Okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, remember this thing that heartbeat. Every data node is sending heartbeat to name node. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, file is broken into blocks and okay. is stored. Okay. On uh, so that uh, whatever the size of the file that that the file will uh, block uh, is broken into whatever the configuration we have given for each uh, size by default is 128 MB in 2.0 version. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that uh, file uh, broken into blocks. Okay. And stored into data node. Okay. To block maintaining uh, and what name is maintaining name node maintaining file to block mapping. Mm -hmm. Okay, that file, location 
order the blocks and data data default block size is 128 okay mm -hmm. okay yeah. yani you can change block size or file mm -hmm. it's you can change size for a file okay client directly interact with data node for reading writing blocks okay Buffer data locality to provide a streaming replay. Okay. Yeah. Name node and data node can be installed on single machine to create a mm -hmm. single node cluster for learning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, in our previous uh, class, I have uh, explained. That okay. how many modes is there? Okay. So, what's the motion to create this? Single, pseudo, and distributed. Mm -hmm. Name mode is there. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this it's telling that name node and data node can be installed on a single machine. Or creating a single node cluster. So will go. Okay. And high availability. Oh, for tolerance only. That just be fault tolerant. What is a fault tolerant? Fault tolerance across not exactly. Okay. So that fault tolerant means that if our any uh, problem with industry uh, node got crashed, or let's suppose yeah. we have some application issues. Sure okay, let's uh, network issues. Okay, so such type of things okay. is uh, come under fault tolerant. Okay, mm -hmm. so that we can avoid fault tolerant situation. Okay, so that we go. So that is keeping back of us. Yeah. So that fault tolerant that how uh, how we can keep will keep backup file for each block because that file is storing into in the form of block where it will be stored into. Data node, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, data node, a big issue. Hello. So where will we will store? Sorry, I didn't get you. Not listening. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Now uh, Chandish. Yes, yes. Can you please repeat one second? Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm asking that uh, where we can store our blocks. Uh, blocks or data nodes. Yeah. Yes, correct. So Hadoop is keeping one backup file for each block and store in the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that machine is called data node. 
this process is called replication factor by default replication factor is 3 okay yeah so that will go one by one okay uh -huh. so this is our cluster uh -huh. okay okay and uh, let's suppose we have one file okay uh -huh. and that uh, let's say two copies of the block uh -huh. is this is to, this block is stored here and uh -huh. same block is stored here okay uh -huh. uh, and the uh, same like same like two is stored here and two is stored here three three four four okay so let's suppose this uh, this data node if this data node will crash we will cover recover same information in this uh -huh. data node so okay. uh, like that we can uh, avoid fault tolerant situation in our cluster mm -hmm. okay okay got it any confusion anything no if you have any confusion any doubt what i'm expecting whatever i'm uh, explaining you are getting very right okay yes then great yes yes okay okay so if the cluster will fail yeah so this is our yeah uh, so this is our means of fault tolerant that how we can protect and let's suppose if whole cluster will down mm -hmm. Uh, what will happen? Let's suppose your name node will down. Uh -huh. Then what will happen? Uh, oh, lost the data. Or uh, yeah, we will lost the data. Okay, uh, and uh -huh. our all data nodes. Uh -huh. Data node will also not work. Okay, yes. Okay, because okay. everything is related to name node. Name, name node, node is the system. Yeah, name node is the system which is interacting directly to client. client. Mm -hmm. And this is this is also interacting with all attached data node. Awesome. So if this name node get down. Mm -hmm. Then all, all cluster will get down. Okay. 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 So how we can protect? We mm -hmm. have one thing that rack awareness. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if we we'll set, if we, we'll, if we we'll set rack awareness. Mm -hmm. Then we will protect our cluster. Clusters. Yeah, that we can protect uh, our system for uh, that high availability. Okay. It means we can uh, we can save our data node. Okay. Okay. Because these are the uh, means uh, rack. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, whatever the Latest name space is there. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this will uh, copy one file, one file in different machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that we will set rat, uh, rack awareness. We can mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so here is a one question. Okay. Sindhu, here, yes. here we have one question like uh, we are uh, replicating, right? We are replicating yes. the files. Yes. Okay. So lead storage capacity yes. due to replication factor. Yes, obviously. Because if we are replicating that blocks, okay, so we required more system. Mm 
more space yeah more space because we are uh, means uh, storing replication yes okay so here organization is uh, uh, saying that we can add number of uh, systems but we don't lose our data okay okay yes they don't want to lose their data lost their data they yes. can manage their systems tools. yes okay yes but they don't want to lose their data that yes. is the important things okay okay so that in 2.0 version mm -hmm. they have introduced some mechanism you can say for uh, uh that uh, we can uh, that uh, that we can control some uh, storage capacity things problems mm -hmm. okay okay so that uh, replication is expensive okay storage policy save storage cost ensure coding and alternative to replication okay okay yeah so that storage policy storage policies uh, uh, they have introduced in 2.0 okay 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 and uh, save for uh, storage cost and uh, in the different uh, 2.0 they have introduced one more thing uh -huh. that uh, erase coding and alternative to replication okay 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 yeah so that will see let's suppose that i availability mm -hmm. okay so there is a, a slight confusing uh, that the high availability and rent okay what is high availability or what is called rent okay okay so there is two concept is seems like similar okay okay on that okay so now we are focusing on a high availability mm -hmm. let's suppose our load get down our whole cluster will get down mm -hmm. okay okay how we can in this situation what mechanism we follow to come mm -hmm. over this situation okay how to okay. protect against name node failure mm -hmm. if our name node fail then our whole cluster will down and no one want to stop the running process any organization any one mm -hmm. don't want to stop running process okay because if okay. the name node will down, everything will down your each will get down so mm -hmm. how we can overcome this situation yeah yes yes we can hello yes tell me yes yes got it no just uh, i am not hearing so that's why i'm asking okay so i'm asking that if our name would get down 
so in in simple term in simple uh-huh. term we can take one backup okay 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 we can take one backup okay okay because because name node have name node have two files huh? one is msms file and the second is edit log files mm-hmm. okay so your fs image file is store your whole name space of mm-hmm. the files interaction between the you uh, client interaction between with data nodes locations of the blocks map, mapping of the blocks Mm-hmm. of the file such type of all detail is storing in fs ms okay and edit log store your recent changes whatever the changes happen mm-hmm. recently such type of information is stored in edit log mm-hmm. edit log like your ram and this is act like your room okay so name node files remember okay okay yeah so stand by name keep tracking log files from active name node if log has expired from active name node stand by will name over for the process uh-huh. okay so uh-huh. that we keep one backup okay we'll keep one backup uh-huh. and that backup is calling stand by uh-huh. that backup system is called standby okay okay we'll keep we'll keep all the things in second system we we'll store all the things in second system and that second system is called backup 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 and standby your running system is called active 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 name node okay active name node backup system is called standby okay 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 yeah so let's suppose this is our active name node hmm. okay mm-hmm. and this is our standby, standby. okay standby mm-hmm. And these are the our these are the our data nodes. So that how we can take backup. Okay. Okay. How we can take backup from active node to a standby. Uh mm-hmm. huh. So we'll take one uh, help with with one software. Mm-hmm. QJM, QJM, QJM is a light software mm-hmm. which is helping to storing mm-hmm. storing data, backup data, backup data from active name node to standby. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
this uh, if you see this is write edit log and mm -hmm. read edit log okay this is writing writing these systems and from there it is reading okay okay and okay. Uh, how how is stand by name node get to know this mm -hmm. active name node is get down okay so we'll use one more component zookeeper zookeeper okay zookeeper, okay. zookeeper and fail control fail control services okay okay so okay. every every 3 second okay mm -hmm. it's uh, getting log okay okay this is keep tracking log so let's suppose this uh, if this uh, get down this will not uh, create any log mm -hmm. okay okay and uh, and and data node along along with data node sending hard bit to active name node and as well as your secondary name node okay okay Mm -hmm. that data node is sending hardware for both active name node and standby name node mm -hmm. but when your active name node get down that time we stand by will come into picture mm -hmm. and and continue the process okay 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 understand yes so in this time there is one more things that uh, we have to learn that uh, secondary name node okay what is a secondary name node secondary name node backup of name node uh backup of the name node uh, name backup name node we have stand by okay okay we have backup for the secondary name node okay but secondary name node secondary name node secondary name node Okay, no problem. Access image. Yeah, so that each name node have to file. Okay, one is second, one is FS image, and one is edit log. Okay. Okay. So FS image is stores all name space type of. information and edit log is this for your recent changes information okay 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 so if you will see fs image is the latest and updated picture of what you file system fs hmm. image is the latest and updated picture of the adobe file system mm -hmm. adobe file system and and Space. Space. Uh, and, space. And then this you know the uh, file system and name space. Okay. Name space. Name space. No. All the changes made in file. Okay. And edit log. What is edit log? Edit log is persist persistent. copy all the changes in no no whatever the changes happen in any particular file mm -hmm. that kind of information is stored into edit log okay remember your fs image is a copy of the your hadoop file system okay if you fs image is a latest and updated picture Adobe file system. Okay. 
start it will not take more time okay, okay. so for that, purpose, for that purpose we are using secondary name okay because because it is taking a backup for every hour every hour okay so okay. That, that that file will be less because is is uh, uh, take a backup of the of the okay okay so it's it's um, it, it's uh, it's not take much time to get a start the name node okay for that purpose we are using okay 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 yeah so this is the whole architecture okay okay yeah, so today class we will not go back mm-hmm. learn previously that's mm-hmm. why today i have given a picture okay and i hope that you will you also enjoy it yes so, uh, terminology what we discussed okay okay uh, i sent it one link uh, for setting download the uh, yeah yes. so have you tried yes yes 
okay so you are uh, successful to install yes i install uh, actually there is a uh, uh, two links one is for um, trial version and one is for student uh, so i i did actually both no no mm -hmm. that sorry for student yeah uh, data bricks uh, did uh, yeah actually first i did the uh, regular one i mean uh, main one but it asking the credit card details so then i i, uh, I did a uh, uh, student one also mm -hmm. uh, just i uh, created this one but uh, i i'm not aware of how to create new notebook and new cluster uh, actually if you uh, search in google uh -huh. uh, in youtube and how can set up uh, uh, that cluster in databricks free 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 cluster in databricks huh? so you uh, means number of videos regarding to that okay i mean uh, you right now i mean what is the use of that one i mean how to use that one and where to use that one Uh, which one? I mean, uh, oh, actually, that cluster. Yeah, that you will get a pre-installed. Okay. Pre-installed. Pre-installed cluster. Okay. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you sh otherwise uh, uh, you should have to install the software. Okay. And uh, you should have to configure all the all the things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and, uh, Through that link, you will get uh, the whole cluster. Okay. Can no. I uh, share my screen? You want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. No, not yet. Waiting for to view. Okay, actually, Mani has to accept this one. I think. So. Mm -hmm. Mani has to give access. Actually. Okay. Okay. Correct. One minute. One minute. Ah, uh, that's fine. Otherwise. Can you can you try now? This is the one I downloaded. Yeah, yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. so, so, uh, so, can you go in cluster? Cluster, new cluster. Do is there? Cluster. And, uh, I mean, I didn't create anything. Just uh, I downloaded it and. No, no, that you should have to create, create. Cluster, can you click on that? Create cluster. Yeah, correct. Give the name. Okay. And, uh, one minute. Uh, can you select Scala Spark? Yeah, that is already selected. No problem. No. Leave it. Leave yes, it. Yes, it's already set. Python version three. Python version three. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that create create cluster yeah it's creating here it's creating. It's so good. so what next i mean uh, what is the use no it's created Yes. Double click on. 
this one. Oh, it can't save. Terminal, terminal. Go to terminal. Sorry. Terminal. Go to terminal. Sorry, no one will. Cancel. Uh, well. Notebook zero. I didn't create notebook also actually. Do we need to create any notebook before? Uh, I think uh, you should have to create here. Yeah. Notebook. Yeah, create notebook. Give your name. Give name. Create. Uh, languages okay what do i select here language is scala is scala scala okay a cluster is the same and the same cluster okay right. yeah so this is created uh that there anything is Ten minutes. Yes, article or uh, running. Okay, can you can you uh, write down that uh, spark here? Yeah. What do I need to write? This part. Spark hyphen cell. Uh, cell. Okay. Enter shift enter to run or click on run. Is it the same? Uh, is it correct one? What I write? Enter run run all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not together. Well, there is not. Okay. I think uh, that you should have to uh, go one uh, video. Okay. Okay. Uh, you, you, should you should have to configure. Through uh, putty. Okay. Putty. So, so that you can access from that uh, tool. So, okay. check, check Google uh, means uh, YouTube that how we can set uh, this data bricks cluster through mm -hmm. putty. Okay. Okay. So uh, they will give one uh, download file, okay, so that you can download. Okay. You have to download software. Uh -huh. Yeah. Software is there, right? Yeah. Find the file, I think. I think before. Uh, uh, Login, I think you should that receive one. Okay, I'll go through some YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go through and uh, that you will get. Okay. And let me know if you have a problem so that uh, tomorrow we'll check. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So, so that in link you will get uh, uh, that password. That. Okay. Okay, then uh, I'm closing this screen. Yeah. So tomorrow you can uh, check. And let me know if you have. Okay. 
Okay, then we meet tomorrow. Okay, see you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.